Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Kirk T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2020 and newer Nissan Rogue Sport vehicles. And on a custom fit part like this, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and I'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this will provide this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. This is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And this kit does connect very quickly and easily. All you have to do is locate your connection points, which are behind the tail lights. You plug in these T connectors, one on each side, one on the passenger side, one on the driver side. Ground your white wire right here. And then you have this black power wire that runs to your vehicle's battery. Now this does include this tail light converter, this black box here. This is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It is a powered module. That's why it connects directly to the battery, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. This converter is constructed using SMT technology, which is surface mount technology. Gives you consistent, reliable performance. It'll maximize your trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat and it also ensures superior operation in any rough road conditions. If you notice on the four-way, it does come with this nice dust cover for the four-way. When you're not plugged in to your trailer, you can put that dust cover over the terminals and it protects them from any damage or from the elements. A few specs on this kit, the maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuits is not are six amps per side. For the tail light circuit is three amps total. Now it does come with everything shown here on the table, a nice set of installation instructions that will describe how to put this all together and how to plug it in. But basically what you'll want to do is you'll start by connecting these T connectors. And you want to start on the driver's side. The driver's side will be the one that has the yellow and red wires in it. And what you'll do is go behind the tail lights, unplug your harness, plug this into that. And then you'll go to your uh, passenger side, which is the connectors here with the green wire. Run the length of wire over to the passenger side. Do the same, unplug your harness, plug that right in. And then what you'll want to do is take this white wire with the eyelet on it, that's for a ground. You want to connect that to a good clean ground that's nearby. If there is not one, they do give you a grounding screw that you can make your own ground. And then this box, this black box does have a little weight to it, so you don't want that bouncing around. You want to attach that to a good flat surface. You can put a screw through this uh, tab right here with the hole in it. Or if you want, they even give you a piece of double face tape that you can attach it down with. Once that's all connected down, all connected to your harness, run this four-way out the back. The last connection is this black power wire. That'll run to the front of the vehicle to connect to your battery. And what you'll do is use this length of wire and these connectors they include for, to do that. Take a butt connector, put it on there, connect it to one end of this length of wire, and then run it to the front. And when you get to the front, you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You want to run it through this inline fuse holder. So you take one of the other butt connectors, connect it to one side of the fuse holder, just like that. <clears throat> and then on the other side, you'll take your eyelet connector, connect that, and that'll connect to your battery. Once that's all connected, take your included 10 amp fuse, put it in your fuse holder, just like that. Put your cap on there. Once you got your cap on there, your system's all hooked up, ready to go. Now, if you notice, they do give you some extra cable ties here to take up any slack in the wiring you might need. But that should do it for the review on this Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.